They love the sand. Oh my goodness. You in the corner. The, the little ones have the sand too, and they, they, they really enjoy it. So, these ones here were being completely ridiculous. Uh, not those ones in particular, but they were very vocal like for five minutes while I was um, cleaning up this other thing here. They were like really being silly. I was just cleaning this up. It takes about five minutes. I go, uh, maybe it's ten. But now they're okay and they're behaving, but boy are they vocal when I put sand. Like they are not that crazy for greens when I bring them or water or you know, giving them, yeah, like they, they were just like, they're really toned down now, but they were just totally ridiculous. Whoever has the sand has the treasure. Goodness. Goodness sakes. Ay, ay, ay. They were quiet until I started you know, cleaning and stuff. Eh? What are you saying? You got some water? Oh, don't come up. Please. Anyways, they... <laughs> they were really having words. At least this one's allowing the girl to have the shallow end. <laughs> And these ones don't fight as much, like vocally, but they really, really, really like the sand. <laughs> oh, it's... You are loud. My goodness. Actually, Frankie is <laughs> not that bad, but he's always loved and felt very particular about sand and his, his bathing. Goodness sake, such... The girl just wants to get into the deep end. Oh, thank you very much. Just let me have my bath here. I think those are two girls. <laughs> Lord God Almighty. <laughs> oh God. They were quiet. Oh, my goodness, goodness. Don't fight about it. Please, please, don't fight. That's just a little pecking, like it's not that bad. It's not that serious, but God. Uh, so we've come to the conclusion that uh, two years they live. Um, if the males live longer because they don't work as hard. They do a lot, like they have their rules. Um, so we decided yesterday that it's gonna have to be that the males, the young males are going um, to Peter's. Uh, he's Italian and they quite enjoy quail. Um, I can't dispatch them. I just, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it doing it because <laughs> I really like them. And um, yeah, and then we're going to end up with hens. Hens and, um, but there are challenges with having hens only because they have their own pecking order and a lot of times the males can like because they are so confident in that, they they give uh, some confidence to the hens as well. But they're too loud for uh, the city. And um, my neighbors are putting up with the old cockerels making noise. It's basically the three Italians. They set each other off. And Frankie, um, see the, the girls have driving behavior too. But, and sometimes they're not fair, but um, Frankie is the least loud outside. So I'm going to um, experiment by having just one old, older cockerel around. Because he doesn't call as much. So, and, and there's no houses right there at the very back. But the voice, the call does carry. But um, the girls are, are quiet. So that's what we're going to do. And then probably going to join them together on neutral ground because I, I can't have three different places so uh, the boys are going to be probably I guess when this whole roof thing is done hey the 
yeah, the um, the males will be down here because they call so loudly and then get ready for their little uh, ride to the country. Um, and then the three older males, um, I'm arranging to rehome them because they're older and they're they're large and they're really good. They're healthy. The guy who gave them to, or we bought them from, his brother is now keeping quail. So um, it's just that um, our connection is like on the East Coast right at the moment. So that's going to happen soon. And then um, the, the intense competition for the older hens is, is uh, going to come to an end there and then they can live out their lives quietly because they give eggs from six weeks all the way to the, their dying day the, the hens are just amazing the quail um i don't not so for chickens i heard that they um they give for a few years and then they're kind of freeloaders after that so then the farmer has to make decisions um anyways yeah. should be good for i think two years um hopefully the uh bevy or the coffee will be stable the new new group and uh yeah should be easier it's been an, an experience and a really interesting uh learning experience uh to keep keep quail in an urban setting <laughs>